I believe that every customer stands on their own two feet as well as every item stands on their own two feet. So we take care of everybody and every piece individually. So back about 40 years ago, I started uh, buying and selling antiques. Primarily back in the day, I started with uh, antique gambling equipment. Uh, slot machines had became legal in about 1974. Uh, I decided that I was going to get kind of get in that business because there was some money to be made. Me and my brother used to get in the car, five grand in each pocket, hit the road, absolutely knowing nowhere we were going to go. Uh, did a lot of Nevada, a lot of Arizona, New Mexico searched all the states, Montana, Idaho. Uh, we'd go looking up these old boys. We'd go into bars. We always started in the bar. We had no clue what we were going to do. Just go into town in the morning, go in the bar, get a beer, start talking to the bartender, befriend him, ask him the question. Hey, partner, you know anybody in town that's got any slot machines? Uh, if the guy kind of liked the way you look, he'd say, yeah, you know what, I got a couple at home. Take us over the house, negotiate a nice deal, put them in the car, we're down the highway. Uh, I suppose it was at that time that I actually really got hooked on this business. I mean, there was just so many aspects to it. I got to travel. I got to meet so many interesting people. And I ain't talking about just normal people because I dealt in the gaming stuff. So this was the underbelly, per se, of antiques, right? This, these are some real rounders out there that I was dealing with. And the reason that I'm in this business is for that reason. I get to build absolutely beautiful stuff. I get to sell it to cool people. I get to buy it from cool people. It's just everything is right about this, you know, and I suppose that's some of the reason people buy this stuff is because it brings back memories. Uh, the stuff does tell a story. Some of these machines you see behind me are absolutely crazy what these things have done, right? So it's kept me in the business forever. 40 years straight, I've been doing this. I build a good product. I sell it at a fair price. I give good service. I don't mess around. And I've, I've developed, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of customers and I, I take good care of everybody 40 years you got to be kidding me I am the guy in Southern California I mean if you go anywhere and ask about what I do all roads lead to me no question you know I'm one of these cats that uh, I have to really enjoy what I'm doing and I've really had uh, the great fortune to be in some very interesting business uh, before stumbling into this opportunity I spent 25 years in the video game business uh, and the coin-operated amusement side before all the home stuff came out. And in 1982, landed my first job with uh, Bally, back when Bally was uh, primarily a video game company, a pinball company, before it got into the health clubs and casinos and so on and so forth. And from there, I just was at the right place at the right time and was able to me to become uh, employee number 82 at Nintendo. Uh, I was the vice president of Gottlieb Pinball, uh, I brought Street Fighter II into this country through Capcom. I had the fortune to work for Nolan Bushnell at Atari and uh, always had something that was, it was a fun job. And so when this opportunity came along and I met Jim and organically, just like we find our product, it was through Craigslist. And here's some American picker type of dudes that are looking to get their product to market. And they all own flip phones and they, they don't really want to deal with eBay and they're not really texters and so on and so forth. It was an opportunity for me to take my expertise and my my history of, of dealing with uh, non-commodity products that are fun and and translate it into this and uh, and selling this product. It's been very natural for me, very, very interesting. And I think what I enjoy as much or more than the products, it is the people I'm selling to. I'm selling to very interesting people, um, actors and investment bankers and farmers and construction people, it really doesn't matter. I've gone from everything from helping a guy decorate his office to a guy completely doing a converted uh, uh, car dealership that is now a man cave. I mean, how great is it? It seems to me when we get together, they're more interested in hearing what I'm doing 
than what they're doing, even though that what they're doing is a much more serious global matters. They're interested about the picking and the people and what kind of places that we put in. So it's just an absolute pleasure. I meet the nicest people uh, in this business and really feel that we're providing them a service that in this business, although it's been a long, a long time, really hasn't been to this level of you know offering videos and teleconferencing and chatting and so on and so forth and developing a relationship before the products even ship. So I couldn't ask for a better situation. I've restored jukeboxes, kiddie rides, stimulators. trade stimulators, Coke machines, barber chairs, barber poles. Uh, I've even done recording studios from the 40s where you used to go in and cut a 45 RPM record on the spot. GIs used to do it all the time and send it to their girls on the piers here in New York and LA. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I mean, think of it, a couple of million dollars worth of stuff, a few million dollars worth of stuff. I'll take on most projects, but it's got to be fun for me and it's got to be profitable for me. It's amazing how many different products I've restored in this shop. Boy, a lot of really cool stuff has gone through here. My responsibility is to find the equipment and restore the equipment and get it ready for the customer. Once Jim's got this product ready for you, it's my job to make sure you have a great representation of what the product looks like through our pictures, through our videos, through our descriptions, blemishes, highlights, whatever the product is. Once we're comfortable with the deal, we're ready to roll. It's my job to get it to you safely. This is not a stagnant place. I mean, we're picking, we're bringing stuff every day, in and out, in and out, in and out. We're, we're, we're shaking and baking, man. This thing's gone. So if you want to buy something, then, you know, if you can afford it, you should just grab one of them or two.